By the looks of things, you would think it was Christmas Day, but it's not. It's actually October the 10th, 2012, and we're outside the Coltness Community Centre in Whishaw. Now, we're here because of little Nathan Watson, who's three years old and suffers from a terminal illness. It's called Batten's disease, and it's not expected that he will see this Christmas. So as a result, local charity man and real worker, Les Hoey, has managed to get together a whole posse of people with everything from artificial snow, reindeer, Santa, fire engines, Christmas dinner, and a boogie bus, just to please little Nathan and his family. Here he is now, Les. That's incredible. How, what made you decide to go for it? I read the story in the Whistle Press and the Daily Record and decided to do something about it. It's hard. I try to help children all over Scotland, but it's on your own doorstep. I had to do something. So, I mean, you've, you've got everybody involved on it. Were, was it difficult to convince them to get involved? No, I couldn't believe how many people wanted to be elves. It actually turned down elves. Uh, everybody was asking. Really? They wanted to be an elf. I so. see you're, you're a fetching elf I yourself know. today I as know. well. Now, I mean, you've helped children all around the UK, really. I mean, mostly in Scotland, but further afield as well. What was it about little Nathan that struck a chord with you? Just when the mother had said in the paper that she'd like to bring Christmas forward. Rather, I mean, obviously, I'd been told Nathan might not see Christmas, so hopefully he will see Christmas. I mean, we've seen him today, and he's in. You know, he's being sort of carried around, and he has his eyes shut. Do you think that he'll be able to appreciate some of what's been done? I'd like to think so, but it's hard. I mean, it's not just for Nathan as well. It's, well, that's for, what, yeah. it's for his brothers and his sisters, as, as his mum said, that they'd like to have Christmas today as well. How long did it take approximately to get this organised? Uh, two weeks. About two weeks' time. Two weeks. Wow, it's incredible. I'm sure that many. That professional event planners will be envious of how you've managed to pull it all together. And um, I, I mean, you, have you spoken with Sarah and Ethan's mum today? Ah, she, was, she was overjoyed. She, she, she couldn't believe what's happening. That's fantastic. And of course, you've got your own Christmas party coming up uh, right. later on in the year when it's actually Christmas. Right. Tell me about that. Yeah, hopefully, we'll have over 150 children here yeah, from all over Scotland yeah, at Mill Football Club on the 9th of December. So it's a, it's a big party. If it's no snow, maybe these guys doing as well. <laughs> well, I think we should go and uh, celebrate a bit more Christmas and pull some crackers. What do you think? Yes, definitely. Excellent. Thank, Thank you very you. much, Les. I mean, obviously we know he's a Motherwell fan, as his dad is and what have you, so I brought him down um, a shirt and a sign ball and some other Small shirt, bits. let's have a look at the shirt. Hold it up to the... And some, uh, some other bits and pieces, uh, like autograph book and things like that, so... Um, Hopefully he'll enjoy them. He's, he's asleep at the minute, but when he wakes up, hopefully he'll, he'll like what we've brought down for him. Yeah, that's fantastic. Do you get asked to do a lot of these kind of things? Um, I think as, as part of it, being a footballer and as obviously the football is a community club, um, we do we do like to get out there and, and show support and um, no better way than coming down to see such a beautiful little boy and, and show support to them. And was he able to communicate with you as to how yeah. excited he was? Yeah, I... I do believe that he takes it all in and um, he just loves the atmosphere, he picks up on those things so I'm just excited that he'll enjoy the boogie bus on the way home. Now tell me a little bit if you can about uh -huh. Nathan's condition, he's got, he's got Batten's disease. Yep. Um, basically it doesn't really kick in to 10 months to 18 months so ideally you don't think there's anything the matter. For me Nathan wasn't reaching his milestones so um, I pushed for an MRI scan. Um, during waiting on the results, he took what they were calling fever convulsions, which turned out to be seizures. So he was sedated and transferred to York Hill, where they could do like electronic um, x-rays and stuff on his brain. And um, only then did we find out through a second blood test that Nathan had infantile Batten's disease. And at what point was that? How old was That he? was September 2011. So just over a year. Just over a year ago. Um, and it seems to have been quite a progressively, you know, fast uh, Nathan, decline. Yeah, it was as if the seeds was also, so I'll never forget, that Nathan has quite a rapid onset. So the fact that don't reach age five, um, we just wanted, and we thought, we couldn't see anything in front of us, to be honest. Yes. And we just want to put, put everything forward because also with the batons you've got these deteriorations that happen. 
and you just don't want to be not able to get the pleasure out of it is why we thought we would bring it forward. And he's here he's and here. we're celebrating that he's here and Santa's in the background. Yep. And we'll make as many celebrations as we can. Exactly. For however long it takes. Listen, it's been a pleasure to spend Christmas with you this year. Hi. A wee bit earlier than usual. Sorry, without much. Oh, don't apologise, of course. It's a day of tears mm. and of joy. Uh -huh. as well. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you. Thank you.